On October 13, 2024, SpaceX caught a 70-meter-tall rocket booster using giant mechanical arms, a move that could change the future of space travel forever. But why is this such a big deal? What makes catching a falling rocket more than just a cool trick? This video will reveal how this daring feat could transform the space industry as we know it. To understand how impressive this catch is, you can compare this to catching a pencil dropped from Empire State Building while standing on the ground. That's the kind of precision we are talking about. This single catch could revolutionize how we think about space travel. And if you think catching a rocket sounds impressive, wait until you see how this could make launching daily space missions a reality. Traditionally, rockets were not meant to be reusable vehicles. It was something that we could use once and it was dropped in the ocean to get rid of. Imagine buying a new car every time you run out of gas. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, right? Yet, that's exactly how we used to think about rockets. These incredible machines worth millions of dollars were treated like disposable cameras, used once and tossed away. Can you guess how many rockets we have lost to the ocean over the years? comment below. But Eggy, you may ask, we have sent many astronauts to space. If rockets are one-time use, how did we bring them back? To answer that question, take a look at this. Do you see something that we could use safely to land the astronauts? Yes, the answer lies in those vast blue expanses covering our planet, the oceans. For years, they have served as nature's cushion for returning spacecraft. Here's how it worked. After a rocket finished its job of pushing satellites or astronauts into space, its most expensive part, the booster, would begin its journey home. Like a giant metal skydiver, it will plunge through the atmosphere, deploy parachutes, and splash down in the predetermined paths of ocean where ships await it to fish it out. But here's the catch. Oceans in rocket don't mix well. Salt water is widely known for its corrosive effects on metal and electronics, causing extensive and costly damage. Structural elements can weaken which can potentially lead to failures in future launches. Even worse, recovery teams had to play a challenging game of fetch in the middle of ocean. Ships must find the booster in potentially rough seas or poor visibility, then haul a massive building-sized waterlogged rocket into the deck which comes with its own set of challenges. The journey back to the land can take days. During the time, salt water continues its corrosive work. It is kinda like playing hide and seek, but the prize is a multi-million dollar metal cylinder and the playground is entire ocean. Once they finally got the rocket back to the shore, engineers had to inspect every nut and bolt for damage. Think of it like taking apart a massive jigsaw puzzle, cleaning each piece and putting it back together again. But this process was so time consuming and expensive that most space agencies just said, forget it, let's build a new one instead. So for decades, we kept building new rockets for every mission. Not very efficient, right? But what if there was a way to avoid all this hassle and reuse the rockets just like airplanes? That's where SpaceX comes in. Enter SpaceX, a company that reimagined space travel. Their big idea? Making rockets that could fly again and again, just like airplanes. But there was one major hurdle. How to bring these massive rockets safely back to Earth without dunking them in the ocean as we previously did? After years of trial and error, and yes, there were some spectacular explosions. SpaceX mastered the art of landing rockets, but they were not done innovating. Their next challenge seemed almost impossible. Catching a falling rocket in mid-air. Sounds crazy, right? It kind of is. But how do you snatch a massive falling rocket with pinpoint accuracy? This is where the chopsticks come in. And no, we are not talking about the kind you eat with. 
Picture two giant mechanical arms attached to a launch tower, designed to snatch a 230-foot tall rocket right out of the sky. The precision needed is mind-blowing. These arms need to catch the rocket within less than a quarter of an inch accuracy. That's like threading a needle while riding a roller coaster. SpaceX has already shown they can guide their smaller Falcon 9 rockets to land within 3 feet of their target. Their new super heavy booster is expected to be even more precise, despite being much larger. But catching it is like an intricate dance between machine and physics. The mechanical arm must move in perfect harmony with the descending rocket, all while dealing with the unpredictable winds and weather. And if you think catching rockets is just for so, you will be surprised to learn how this tech could open doors to industries you would never expect. Behind the scenes of this catching, a dedicated team of engineers watches over thousands of measurements and readings, making sure everything goes perfectly. The flight director, like a conductor leading an orchestra, coordinates this high-stakes ballet of technology. One wrong move could mean disaster. So why go through all this trouble? Because successfully catching these rockets means they can be ready to fly again much sooner, bringing us closer to a future where space travel is as routine as catching a flight across the country. Rapid rocket reuse is impressive and it's changing the economics of space travel. Let's stock numbers. The price of sending something into space, which is called launch cost, has long been the primary barrier to widespread space exploration. Currently, SpaceX's Falcon 9 costs approximately $2,700 per kilogram to lower Earth orbit. That's already a significant improvement over traditional launch providers, but it is still a hefty sum when considering the weight of satellites, spacecraft, and supplies needed for extended missions. But what if launching something to space become as affordable as shipping a package across the country? Thanks to the new technology like catching rockets mid-air and reusing them, sending cargo to low Earth orbit could soon just cost $1,000 per kilogram. This game-changing drop in price is about to transform our relationship with space. And that's not all. Cheaper rockets could even pave the way for something straight out of science fiction, space hotels and asteroid mining. Think of it like unlocking a whole new world of possibilities. NASA and other space agencies won't have to pinch pennies as much for their missions. The Artemis program, which aims to put humans back on the moon, could dream bigger. And those ambitious plans to send humans to Mars starts to look less like science fiction and more like an achievable goal. But it is not just about NASA. This cost revolution means everyone, universities, startups, even smaller countries could join the space race. Imagine universities launching their own satellite to study climate change or companies testing innovative new technologies in zero gravity. Even smaller countries that could never afford a space program before might soon join space race. The pace of launches will pick up. Instead of waiting months between the rocket launches, we might soon see them blasting off daily. This busy space traffic could help us build giant space stations or create permanent homes on moon faster than we ever thought possible. The future of space exploration is exciting. With cheaper rockets, we can do more things in space than ever before. Catching rockets from sky might sound fun, but one tiny mistake and well, let's just say, expensive fireworks aren't the part of a plan. Sure, fireworks are great on New Year's, but a $70 million explosion is a bit over the top. <laughs> to address these challenges, SpaceX is developing advanced sensors and control algorithms to enhance precision. They are conducting simulations and ground tests to anticipate and mitigate potential failures. Safety protocols are being refined to protect personnel and equipment in case of a mishap. Why put so much effort into this? Because this catch and reuse system is like having a reusable space elevator. It's key to SpaceX's bigger dreams, building cities on Mars, and helping NASA put humans back to the moon. Without it, these missions would be about as practical as building a bridge to Hawaii. Technically, it is possible, but way too expensive. 
So the best part about this catching? This technology is not just about catching rockets. Imagine using similar systems for space hotels, satellite repair shops, or even launching missions to other planets. I know what you are thinking. Space hotels? It sounds far-fetched, but remember there was a time when the idea of reusable rockets seemed just as crazy. But the first things first, they need to nail the basics here on Earth. It's like learning to walk before you run, except in this case it's learning to catch falling rockets before you build cities in space. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk has hinted that this catch is the first step. There are still many impressive things SpaceX is currently working on and hopefully we'll see them in the future. From throwing away entire rockets to catching them mid-air, we have come a long way, haven't we? SpaceX's wild rocket catching dream is not just cool technology. It is literally changing the game for our future in space. Just imagine in few years, rocket launches might be as common as planes taking off at your local airport. Whether it's sending up the next batch of satellites for your high-speed internet, restocking the ISS, or maybe even booking your own ticket to a space hotel. Hey, we can dream, right? This technology is making it all more possible than ever. But hey, this is just the beginning of our space adventure. The rocket catching system is like the first smartphone. It's revolutionary, but just wait until you see what comes next. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more mind-blowing space content. Do you think we will see a human set foot on Mars in the next decade? Click here to find out. And remember, the sky is no longer the limit. Thank you for watching.